Oh, we got a school of fish blowing up here. What can this be? We get ready to make a shot at them because they're coming down the bank. Oh, two fish. Just drop it, pick it. Drop it, pick it. All right, so I'm gonna take a little trip, a little ride to the lake. See if I can find some fish. Hot and sunny out. I'm sure some peacock bass are around. Maybe there's some tarpon, maybe there's some snook. There's been a lot of snook around lately. So we will see. It's windy out here. Bringing the bike just so I can have a little bit more range and move around a little quicker. Let's see if I can catch a fish or two. I see a lot of minnow scattering. That's a good sign. Oh, there goes Jax. Oh, big Jax. Come on, Jax. Meanwhile, I'm like uh, trying to work it slowly and jig it in front of the pipe and a group of Jax just went by. Checked it out, but I wasn't moving it quick enough for them to actually want to strike it. And just like that, as fast as they show up, they're gone. Something was just blowing up on this edge. Oh, I hear other fish exploding down that way. You got an intermediate line on here, which is not something I typically would throw, but it might help in this scenario because the water's kind of low right now. As you can see the, the water line. Water's kind of low right now, so if they're off the shallow water, the deep end, they're down the deep edge, and maybe the sinking tip or the intermediate line would allow the fly to get down quicker into their line of sight. I haven't done one of these backyard vlogs in a little while, so. I didn't even bring a camera other than my two GoPros that are both rolling right now. Got one on the bike, got one on my chest. Something little. What is this thing? A little largemouth. Very pink. Oh, it's a peacock. Baby peacock. <laughs> Tiny little guy. 
he choked on it. Let me see if I can get this fly out. Yep. See that little guy? Let's get him back in there. All right, so check this out. This is my mountain bike. It is a 2021 BMC two stroke zero one carbon. I've done a few things to it. I just changed the grips out, put these uh, Vans grips from ODI, I believe. It's got the waffle from the bottom of the Vans, which I always wore uh, slip on Vans growing up. That was my, my favorite shoe. I used to even mountain bike with those shoes. Got the PNW stem and PNW handlebar. Got the custom Fender Point Tarpon top cap by Groundkeeper Customs. Also custom front fender from Groundkeeper Customs. Also with my artwork and my Fender Point logo. Got the PNW Rainier Gen 3 uh, dropper post. You press this lever, see it goes up. You raise it up and down depending if you're on a climb or on a descend. You want to descend with the seat down because if you have the seat up and you're descending and you hit a rock or you do a little jump, oftentimes the seat's going to hit you in the, the butt and want to send you over your handlebar. So you drop it when you're going to do a big descend or any kind of jumps and stuff and you raise it up to climb and have better leverage with your legs for pedaling. The stem actually allows for a GoPro on there. It has a GoPro mount built in. So I can have a GoPro on my handlebars or on my stem. And then today's rod choice. Keeping the carbon fiber theme going. I'm using this Eternity Rain Shadow. Blank with the carbon fiber handle and fighting butt. Got my Nautilus XL Classic. This is actually the XL Max spool on it, so it is technically a 7 to 9 weight. I have it on the 6 weight rod here because it holds a lot more line. I can have a lot of backing on there, so if I hook into something big, it ain't going to get away. It won't spool me. So yeah, let's keep this video going. Oh, we got another one. This is a large mouth. I saw a couple peacocks down there, but another large mouth, which is not very common out here in Miami. Oh, I got mullet jumping out there. Another largey, not too big, but hey, I'll take it. I didn't even see him. I just saw a flash where my fly was. I just saw a flash where my fly was and strips at him. Oh, nice little guy. Let's see if uh, there's now a couple largemouth bass and a peacock. Lost a few others. Had that snook bite. <laughs> so, there's usually a lot of peacocks in this little hole, as I'm sure you've seen in a lot of the videos that I've posted in the past when I'm fishing in the backyard. So let's see, I don't really have a peacock fly on here. However, it does work, it does get the job done. He's on it, oh, come on. I can barely see him. If I could see him better, it'll be easier to target him. To, it would be easier to trigger a bite when you can see the fish and read the fish. Got him. Got him. You know, it's not common that these peacocks come out when it gets cloudy. The peacocks tend to hide. Let's say about a two pounder. Let's get them back in the water.
All right, so we're out here. So I came out earlier to the lake with Levi just to get him out of the house for a little bit. And this was slicked out and cloudy. Of course, I went back home, grabbed my fly rod, came back out, now it's sunny. Let's see if we can get some more fish. I'll find out right now. This one's actually a jack, I think. It's fighting like a jack. Yep. So this is a jack creval right here. Oh my God, there's some big ones down there with him. Of course, I caught one of the small guys. There's some much larger jacks down there with him. You see that? If I had another rod, I could drop it on them. There's two much larger ones with them. Meanwhile, we got tarpon rolling over here. There he is. So the trick with these fish, if you put your fingers right on those two black dots on their cheeks, they like, uh, they go to sleep. Puts them in a trance. There he goes. Keeps turning for it, but not acting very aggressively. Let's see if I could trick him to eat somehow. I mean, this isn't a type of fly that a largemouth bass would typically go for anyway. Oh, we got a big peacock right here. Oh, he ate it. And I pulled the hook. Got him. Got him. I pulled the hook the first cast when he ate it. The second one, I got a good hook set. Even though I was tangled up in the trees. That was sick. Sight casting these fish is always fun. He was just cruising the bank looking for a meal. Luckily I spotted him. First cast he ate it. I pulled the hook by mistake. Second cast was off and he chased it down about seven, eight feet to get a hold of it. And I almost messed that up again. When the fly landed in the water, my line landed in a tree. Oof, look at this guy. You saw the eat. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. That was about a three pound fish. I had seen about a five pounder earlier. Caught a peacock. Caught a jack. Oh, we got a school of fish blowing up here. What can this be? ready to make a shot at them because they're coming down the bank. Oh, big jacks, big jacks. Way bigger than the one I caught. The wind's picking up now. Lake's not slicked out anymore, so that probably just shut the whole bite off, but we'll see. Just reel the fly all the way in. 